I know this is a bad quality video when it comes to lighting, but um, I have a cheap light bulb in my room right now. Um, I really there's something that's been on my heart that's really laying on me in the spirit from from the spirit of truth. From like I, it's just the life within me and this. I have to get this out, you guys. Many will not believe me, but this is the honest truth. I had a very very powerful vision of so maybe five or six months ago, I'm not really sure, about the return of the Messiah, the King of David, the King of Judah, the one of the Bible. His, and I had a vision of God. And it is not just any Messiah. It's not just any God. They're very. He was very specific about his name, and he was very... God himself was angry. And I had a very powerful vision that felt more realistic than being on earth, than anything you could, you guys could ever imagine. It was so powerful and so vivid and so real. The colors were so enhanced. The sound was so magnified. It's like putting a speaker to your ear in a concert. Every single sound was amplified. Everything was so realistic that this earth looks like a video game of a PlayStation 2 compared to it. That's how fake everything in this earth looks compared to the vision that I saw of the Messiah's return. Okay, you guys. When I say Messiah, I mean the Messiah of the Jews, the one who came to save the Jews that the Old Testament and the New Testament speak of. Everybody calls him Jesus, but I'm going to get into what his real name is, what he ch what God himself told me in the vision. And I... In the vision, I went into this dark space where there was nothing around me, and I was standing in the dark space. And it, I, I, it might have been space itself, not sure. And I saw a big black man on a black throne with red eyes. And he had very dark bronze-like skin, and he had white, he had white wool um, facial hair, like the Bible talks about that. Jesus, that, that Jesus Christ is supposed to be of a, you know, bronze feet, like from a furnace, and how Jesus is supposed to have wool white hair, but it wasn't Jesus, it was God himself, and he was on a throne, and he looked like a human man, very, very big boned, and he had a black wrap around his head, like I've seen some Muslims wear on YouTube, and he called himself a Muslim, but when I saw God... He told me, let me get real specific into this. Please don't shut this video off as I just spoke about this because I'm about to blow your mind of what he really told me. I went up there and he's angry. He's He's got a really angry face. His, his voice was very booming. And he had red eyes and he was looking at me and he had the entire earth underneath his feet and, and the earth was his footstool, literally. And... I didn't know it was in the Bible, but then I found out it's in the Bible, and the earth was literally his footstool. His his feet covered most of the earth, and the earth was in definition. Let me find the scripture for it. I wrote down some of the some of the scripture of what I saw in my vision to prove that it is real, and and it it, it proved itself to me. The vision proved itself that it was real because it's it matched it matched what the scripture says in the Bible. And, um, there is a scripture in the Bible that when God is angry and his, his return will be of darkness and he was angry and it was dark all around. And it even talks about it in Amos In Amos, uh, part of verse 19, not the whole thing says day of the Lord will be darkness and not light. And in verse 20, it says pitch dark without a ray of brightness. And it was dark when I saw God's anger. And his eyes were red. And it even talks about in Genesis 49:12, God's eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white like milk. That's exactly what I saw, you guys, was in Genesis ch chapter 49, verse 12. When God's eyes are, are red like wine and teeth white like milk. That's, that's exactly what I saw. And I just, you know, found out it's in the Bible because I wanted to, you know, see for myself. I've 
known it was in the Bible, but then when I had proof of it in, the, in a vision, it was pretty powerful. And that's not the only thing that happened, that's just the beginning. He was on a black throne, not a golden throne. He was not of light. He had darkness surrounding him. He was on a black throne. He had a Muslim wrap around his head. He was a black man with a white facial hair, and his feet were over earth. Earth was his footstool, and his voice was so booming that when he spoke, the heavens shook, and I don't remember every single word he said, and I wish I did because my phone, my, my phone with all the information is broken so I can only do this by my memory and not you know every single piece but I remember 99% of it almost everything um I asked him is you, you know I, I didn't ask what, hold on let me say what he said first he said this is my son in whom I'm well pleased and I saw a middle eastern looking man with a somewhat pointed nose and deep beautiful blue eyes like better than the ocean and he had brown curly hair, and this was the son of God, and he had this thing over his head like this, and he also had a very tall white hat above that. And God said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased, but his voice was so booming and so loud that space, it, space shook heaven opened up above his son and shook and I saw heaven opening up and I saw this white dove coming down from heaven in the vision and it you know everybody symbolizes the white dove with the holy spirit so I'm assuming yeah probably they're god that god's holy spirit and I saw rainbows so rainbows swirling in the in the, in 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 heaven. I mean, just all in the sky, just rainbows everywhere. And this big diamond-looking crystal castle that was so bright, full of light, and it was clean and and just uh, very beautiful. It looked like a uh, diamond or crystal, and it looked like it was like cut precisely in a certain way, and it was like a certain certain way it looked, and. And it, and it opened up above his son's head. And why I say his son, I'll get into the name of what God himself told me that his son's name was. And why his name is. And um, when heaven opened up, it, it was shaking when it, would, when it opened up, uh, opened up in, in the darkness and in space. And that's when the, um, the Holy Spirit dove came out. Hang on. And when the dove, you know, returned out of heaven and its wings were flapping and it looked like a real, real bird up close with like a, a more in detail than on earth. And I heard the wings flap, whoosh, 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 the loudest flapping I've ever heard it was louder than a plane over your head or a jet or louder than a helicopter at least. And in the, and I and I saw its claws coming out, its little hands coming out and it was landing on something. And I heard and I saw its little face and beak and everything. And it was a white dove and then it started to land on this tree branch and it turned into a black raven or a crow. I mean, it was either a raven or a crow, not sh really sure to how to tell the difference between the two birds, but um, it land the white dove landed and became like a black row or craven a, a raven in a desert, and in this desert was the son of God, and he was returning to earth, and he took one step. He had a dress on. He had a like a, a dress that looked like hemp or not not hemp but some kind of material, like woven material, like handmade dress, and it was kind of yellowish. And he had straw sandals on that went up his leg in a crisscross. And his skin was golden. It wasn't bronze. It was like golden tan, the most beautiful skin you'd ever see beyond this earth. It was like, it wasn't brown, but it wasn't really a tan. It was a, a different color. That oh maybe I've seen one I don't I don't know if anybody has a skin color because it's looked so rare 
that it wasn't it was kind of golden but kind of like a tan and brown but not and he looked kind of middle eastern and he didn't look black he didn't look white he would look somewhat middle eastern and I'm not exactly sure what but he had a pointed um very thin nose and he had blue eyes and I looked up at him and I was standing right in front of him and I saw God and I asked I asked God in space is your son's name Jesus Christ and he got so angry his you know his eyes were red he had this very serious stern look on his face and he said my son's name is not Jesus it is Yahushua his voice was so booming and I, I really enjoyed the vision. Actually, I didn't want to leave. I wasn't in fear. I actually enjoyed the vision a lot that I wanted to, to live in it almost, stay in it. And so he said his son's name is Yehoshua, um, not Yeshua, not um, Jesus. And he got so angry when I said the name Jesus. He said his name's son, his son's name is Yehoshua Hamashiach. And I know Hamashiach, Hamashiach I, um, I've seen on the internet as a title for Messiah, I think. I might be wrong, but that's what I saw, you know, that it means um, Messiah. So his name's Yehoshua, not Jesus. He was so angry. Got to get that clear straight across. What I saw was the real deal. He he was the real Jewish Messiah. And I, and I asked God... I asked him, and I said, God, you know, and then he, he said, he said, my name is Yahuwah, and it wasn't Yahweh, it was not Jehovah, his name, he's declared is Yahuwah, why, with a V, Yahuwah, and I did not know this name, I have never heard of this name before. I did not know. I've never heard of it. I'm like, what in the heck? Yahuva. Okay. Everybody, you know, calls him Lord or, or just God in general because of uh, modern day Christians. They think it's just God or Lord. They don't exactly know who they're praying to. They think it's Jesus in heaven. That's God. But no, this, this is detailed this is very specific and he was very serious about his name being Yahuwah and his son's name being Yehoshua not Yeshua and I know a lot of um black Hebrew Israelites think that his name is Yeshua but Yeshua is a closer translation but it's not his name and it's not Yahweh okay it was Yahuwah and he was very angry about that but um I don't worship this God anymore, and I'll get into that in another video, but um, I thought this has been on my heart that I should speak to the truth and tell people, let people know. This, you know, very well could be the Bible God, and which version of the Bible is definitely not the King James. This was the true, real deal. This was not just God with G-O-D. He had a name, and um, his skin was one of the most darkest skin, brown skin colors I've ever seen. It looked like, kind of like bronze, and um, anyways, um, after I saw this, I saw a, a bright flash of um, golden light. Oh wait, no, before I tell you about that. Um, Yahuva told me in the vision, um, when I asked him if your son is, um, you know, to save the Jews and he's the Messiah, then why are you Muslim? And then he actually answered and he said, um, thou shall have no other gods before me. And then he said, um, he told me, okay, what was it that he told me?